As I am a part of the soccer team of my home university, and in the team there is always a leader, I will say that this person is my soccer coach. I admire him, although he has an autocratic style, because everything he says, we have to do it on his own way. If someone of the team tells something to him, he doesn't care about what we say, and I think it's good, because he is a professional in that area. But sometimes it is good to hear some other players of the team that have a good ideas to, to add. The decision he made was to win the regional league in Monterrey in Mexico by his indication of how to do things, who was going to play and how will the training be held. But he never listened to the team's opinion and what we have to add. This is a goal of the university, the team and the coach. We have improved the team a lot. We won the tournament and also got to the semifinal in the national tournament last season because of him. He made us improve and become more aware of our actions and always help us to become better players, but sometimes it's very hard in the training, but also make us take more responsibility and be better players and people. I think we fulfilled the objective because the plan was to win the tournament, and that happened. Also, we achieved the national, and although we were very close to win it, we didn't, but beside of his autocratic style, he's the first to put in nationals. The other coaches that were democratic didn't achieve that goal. I will say to him to be a little more friendly with the players of the team and to accept other ideas that the team offers and that might be useful to him so he can be a better coach in the future. I will recommend the coach, despite his autocratic style, to give us the opportunity for saying opinion to the team because we are the players on the soccer field and we are the ones that see everything from the inside and also know how they should do things. If I were the coach, I would take the democratic style because every player on the team have really good ideas and could add some soccer plays and the coach can check them and it can be good ideas. I will put my dad as an archaic leader because he says the employees what to do and doesn't delegate responsibilities. He is the sales director of Microsoft in Mexico. He had to make a very important decision in a very big contract of millions of dollars about 65 millions. The problem about this decision was that the other company wanted discount of the products and my dad almost never gives discounts. This is why the company has grown since he entered Microsoft. So my dad had to decide on giving discount or trying to sell the product at retail price, but he could lose the client if he doesn't give discount. So at the end he made a small discount and he closed the deal with the other company. He had a very good impact that everything went great for him and Microsoft. He, he recorded that year on sales and the other company he made the deal with, it's still Microsoft client and continues buying products. I recommend keeping up the good work and if something is not going good that he tries to get help from his, his boss or other personnel from the company to make the best decisions. It would be great to always have goals and think about the future, not just doing the everyday work. Always trying to give your best so everything goes great and make the company more successful. Created using Powtoon.